Hello, it is Monday, October 25th. It is two days from my Connecticut trip, which I'm so excited about. I'm also really nervous to drive 20 hours by myself, but it's gonna be great. Today I'm going to be packing and planning and all the things and also going to work, so I've got a lot to do today. Thought I would do a little bit of documentation, you know, as you do. So, welcome to my day. Sorry if you can hear my dryer going. I've got a pair of overalls in there and you know how that goes. Um, packing is difficult because I feel like I need to try on everything before I pack it, but that takes so much time, and I don't have that time, so I'm just probably going to wing it. I think what's going to happen is I'll either end up underpacking or overpacking, probably leaning on the overpacking end, but I guess that's better than being underprepared. I'll just have to figure out how it's all going to fit, but we'll make it work. I am driving, so it's not like I have a true limit to how much I can bring. So that's good news, I suppose. But I have a lot to do and I'm procrastinating, so I'm gonna do that now. This is the state of my room right now. I am also going to go to Target before work so that I can pick up a couple things, maybe some snacks, some snacks, so I don't have to spend as much money on food while I'm on the road. That would be nice, trying to cut corners wherever I can because this is gonna turn out to be a little bit more expensive than I was originally planning, but that's okay. Before I walk out the door, I'll do a quick little outfit of the day. This flannel's from Goodwill, this shirt's from Goodwill, these black skinny jeans are also from Goodwill, this bag is from Goodwill, these shoes are bangs. Shout out bangs. Shout out Goodwill. Um, little Target haul. I got some cashews that good healthy snack. I got some of these um, breakfast Velveeta things, blueberry. I got some vitamins. And then also we've got the unnecessary purchases because obviously you go to Target, you're gonna get some things that are unnecessary. I got some new earrings. I got some tights. I got this shirt. I have another shirt that is the same thing in a different color and I wear it like basically every day. It was $5. Why would I not? I also got a new mask. Good things, good snacks. Okay, I've made some progress. I think what my order of operations is gonna be is to pack everything that I think that I want and then unpack it, try it on, and see if I actually want it in there because that way I can like kinda get an idea of what's going on. I don't know. I feel like that's a I feel like that's a good way to do it. This is a, also a difficult trip to plan for because I'll be hopping around in a bunch of different states. So the weather is going to be different pretty much everywhere. <laughs> it's also going to be raining quite a lot while I'm actually in Connecticut. So a lot of my clothing choices are pretty pretty thick. Um pretty thick and warm, which will be great as far as the wearing goes, but the packing is a little bit more difficult than I would like it to be. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. If, if I have to, I can just like, I'll pack everything in there and then all the things that I still need that don't fit in there, I'll just put in the backseat of my car. That's just what's going to have to happen probably. Here is the thing, ladies and gents. Here is the thing. It is... 9.28 on Monday night, and I have not finished packing. I was planning on being completely done tonight so that I could just like put it all in my car and not have to worry about it, so I could just drive away on Wednesday morning and be cool. I think I'm still gonna be cool, but maybe just a little bit later than I planned. I think what's gonna have to happen is I pack tomorrow after work a little bit more, or at least just organize it. I think I'm packed, just extremely disorganized. So that's the update there. Took a shower, ate some dinner. Um, 
I've got to wake up early, early tomorrow because I have my first roasting shift. So I got to get up in the, the early morning, like the, the before the sun. I am going to braid my hair and then go to bed. Happy Monday. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It is almost six in the morning. I'm about to go. I'm about to go start my first roasting shift at work. So I've just been getting out of bed, getting ready. I'm sleepy, but I did sleep really well. I slept like a rock. Usually when I have to wake up early in the morning for something, I don't sleep well because I'm like anxious about missing my alarms. So that was a nice surprise. Yeah, I'm not gonna even try to vlog anything while I'm at work because I am going to be concentrating so hard it's not even funny. So I probably won't even pick up a camera until after three o'clock. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hey. What's up you guys? Um, it is the afternoon now. I just got off work, finished roasting, took me a little uh, less time than I expected actually. I got off at 1 instead of 2, 2 or 3, so that's pretty cool. Um, now I have to tackle the packing problem once more um, and hopefully finish it this time. So putting my game face on. Something that I have never understood is whenever people say, oh, don't fold clothes when you pack them, make sure you roll it because it'll save space. Like, have, have you rolled sweaters before? Because they get, like, huge. But also, I do have more space in, in, the, in the bag. So, they're right, but, like, scientifically, I don't understand how that's supposed to work but I do have more space, so I can pack more clothes, which is nice. That is, that is nice. I just wanted to let you know that I was confused, um, but I'm not mad. I am not mad about it. I have finished packing that boy, and then I have my hanging things, which is only just a couple, like there's a dress and jackets that don't fit in there. Um, and I've been packing my electronic things like charging cords and all that. So I will see you tomorrow whenever we embark on our journey. I am so excited. <laughs> beautiful sunrise I've ever seen in my life probably um, I'll definitely be inserting a couple of pictures slash video of that because it was like pretty much magical I am getting close to Tennessee close ish so making progress the the whole drive it's just gonna be really weird anytime I say words because I, like I don't have anyone here to talk to so I'll either be talking to myself or talking to you guys which is also kind of talking to myself just wanted to give a little update I'm just driving I'll be just driving for the next like 10 or 11 hours so I'll keep you in the loop don't don't you worry you're not gonna miss a gosh darn thing promise can you see me I don't know <laughs> I'm officially in Tennessee have been for about 20 minutes um, so I'm making pretty good progress I uh, the next direction on my um, maps said that I'm going to be on I-40 for the next 200 miles, so that's quite a long time. That's like the entirety of Tennessee, I'm pretty sure. You know, it's a real shame because I just looked back at those um, clips that you probably just saw if I still use them, and the spot that my 
my camera was was a terrible angle, which is really disappointing because that's like the only place that I can keep my camera. That's it, that it's not gonna fall, that I don't have to like pay attention to it. So, whoops. Oh well. Whatever. Hey everybody, I'm in Jackson, Tennessee. Stopped at a Starbucks. About to um, grab a coffee. Go to the bathroom. Um, and then find a gas station and then I'll be on the road again. Um, it's kind of chilly. I'm excited about that. This is kind of chilly. I was kind of shivering getting out of the car. <laughs> just got a just got a medium roast coffee. Gotta go cheap. Um, but I did tip my barista. Tip your baristas, ladies and gents, even at Starbucks. You never know how much they're relying on their tips. Okay. Time to find a gas station. Yeah, that's the update. Okay, here's something I'm never gonna understand. Well, first of all, this is just not gonna work. Why do 18 wheelers feel the need to take up the entire left lane? Because here's the thing, the left lane is the passing lane, right? So it's supposed to be like all the fast people, but 18 wheelers are so much slower than everybody else. So why are they taking up all this space? Like they're not passing anybody, certainly not. And they're also taking up the right, right lane, so it's like, pick your side so we can pass you. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm so sorry if this is happening. But other than that, I'm having a very pleasant time. The trees are beautiful. I wish that I could figure out a way to document them, like take pictures or videos or whatever be able to like do them justice but I just don't think it's gonna work they're so beautiful and colorful but every time I try to take a picture it's either blurry because I'm moving obviously or the colors just aren't right so anyway that's the update for now thanks for being here hi I'm I'm tired of sitting I'm about to get some lunch it is what time is it 115 just about I have about five hours left halfway to Virginia the trees are beautiful I know I've already said that but they're just like getting more and more beautiful as I go so that's that's pretty cool that's pretty nice okay I'm gonna go get some chicken nuggets I just want to say and I'm not gonna do this for very long because I'm like driving driving I just want to say <laughs> that I just drove over Clinch River the name Clinch River just makes me feel weird. Like it just feels cringy to me. I don't know. I just needed somebody to share this feeling with me. Um, okay, that's that's all I need to say. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm afraid he's going to like attach yeah. himself to. And then I don't know why we're in garbage traffic right now but we are on the bright side I finally finally I finally got to um, exit off of I-40 which is fantastic news even though I will be spending over 100 miles on this interstate as well I've been listening to podcasts for several hours and it's been wonderful um, my favorite podcast in the world, by the way, is Ladies and Tangents. You need to listen to it. If I ever decided to make a podcast, I would hope to God that it's similar to their podcast. I love it so much.
said to me that I started my day driving in the dark and I'm about to end my day driving in the dark. I don't know. It's just, it's just quite the concept for me. Also, I'm going to try to say this and explain it and it's not going to make any sense, but I'm going to try anyways. You know how people talk about how like time is a weird concept? Have we ever thought about like places? The fact that I am no longer in Arkansas and I'm in Virginia and it's like a completely different vibe, I just don't understand. Also, I just passed a sign that said Pulaski County, Virginia. I grew up in Pulaski County, Arkansas, so the, the fact that that just happened, I don't even know what to do with that information. <laughs> well, with that being said, I'm going to continue driving. Thanks for listening to that incomplete thought. Maybe we'll return to it later. I made it. First half of the drive is done. <sighs> it feels so good to not be sitting. I'm just gonna get settled in for the night. Yeah, freaking relax. I can't wait to see everything in the daylight because it's pitch black dark outside. <sighs> Which made everything so much more nerve wracking. Getting here, I was getting pretty anxious, not gonna lie. But here's the bathroom. I've got a giant tub that I'm not gonna use, which is really unfortunate. Um, this is my room. Everything's giant cow. The lighting is so blue in here. Um, some coffee things. This is pretty cute. This is my little spot for the night. There's a motion sensing light in the bathroom that like really freaks me out whenever I came in. I think what I'm gonna do is edit together like a part one vlog and that way I can go ahead and post one and start a new one so it's not like taking up a lot of space. So I might work on that a little bit tonight, which will be fun. So yeah. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be in a bed right now. And this is a pretty good bed. I am watching slash listening to other people's vlogs while I um, import video clips for my own. I figured out what coffee shop I'm going to go to in the morning, which is good. So I don't have to figure that out when I wake up. It opens at 7 and I'll probably go like around when they open and I'll edit a little bit of the vlog. Maybe I'll even finish it. I probably won't finish it. And then after I have my coffee, I'll probably honestly start driving to Connecticut. That way I can get there before it's too dark. I'm kinda sleepy, but I'm gonna try to knock out a little bit of this editing so that I can at least have a good foundation, you know? Just wanted to pop in and say thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's okay. Give this video a like. Um, leave a comment down below if you want. Uh, it's weird saying that again. That's all for today. Good night.